So we are in Mountain's Edge right now. Basically, this is off of 160 and it's called Blue Diamond. It's this weird, quaint little neighborhood with all these very unique um, houses. I mean, super unique. There's one school, that's what this building is over here, right there. That's the school. This is a park with grass. They have a baseball field and this is their market. Let me zoom back out. Someone's honking a horn in the neighborhood over and over again. Let me show you. They have a community pool over there in that area. Blue Diamond Village Market. It's the only market in this little small off the road town. There's got to be a lot of money back here. I wonder what people do for a living. I'm not sure what this building is over here. Let me zoom in on that. It's got some weird dome. Might be a house. I don't know. There's a lot of weird shaped houses in here. Some of them look like SpongeBob. This is their only gas station. And it seems to be some sort of restaurant. We're going to go see. I wanted to see if we can get in this little market, but it looks closed. I'm not even sure where there's a door or if it's actually something open. I'm assuming they go to Vegas or our town to get groceries and things of that nature. Here's the gas prices here. Cheaper in town for sure. Oh, there is a whole market in here. It doesn't look open, but there is. It's a rebel gas station turned into this. I'm not sure what this is over here. It's some kind of like bar hangout area. Has a name on it. Haven't gotten that far yet. Okay, guys, there's definitely a market here. Um, let me turn off the flash. Yeah, I see the clothes sign. They don't seem to have very much. So this is what you... Oh, they have wine, though, of course. <laughs> um... They're, it's from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. And they're closed on Sunday. Wow. So you can only get stuff till 2 p.m. That's crazy. Oh, they've got a book return here. Little libraries. Let's see if there's anything good to learn. We always give books for these things. And we also take them whenever we find something that we like. No. John Grisham, that's good. Let's see what we got here. Anything for mom? Nope. Somebody, all for village dogs. Do not take. So they leave snacks for the village dogs. I guess this is a village. Yeah, it's not even a town. It's a village. Let's see. A bunch of different CDs. So we're in a little village in the middle of the desert. There's somehow a lot of grass in here. Actually, we've been seeing a lot of grass, even by Red Rock Canyon. Um, I'm assuming because it's summer and it rains more on this side than it does on our side. And a lot of people do have sprinklers, just not really where we live. But they don't want people to have real grass because of the water shortage. It's like a real thing. I'm just taking a walk to see what this is over here. Private park. No bikes, no horses, no motor vehicles, no trespassing private land. Thank you for respecting our, our space. Yeah, well. Oh, that's the silhouette, this black statue thingy. The lady in our town makes those. Well, if you have stuff from our town, we're allowed to be in your town. No, we're not hurting nobody. We're just walking around. It's, it says, leave our asses alone. And I'm guessing this is some kind of like shindig area or something. I'm not sure. Looks like somebody's working on some stuff over here. I guess this is where they have their hootin' nannies. They've got firewood all over this place. Population low, elevation high, boroughs question mark. That's what the sign says. Population low. 
Yeah, I mean, there's probably like 50 houses in here, tops. All very unique. I don't know that I'm going to drive around the whole neighborhood again and make a video this time, but next time I come through these parts, and I'm the type of person to come to places like this just for picnics and a place to read my books because it's just out of the ordinary. And we play disc golf and we see they have a disc golf course here. If you don't know what disc golf is, it's these things and you have mini frisbees and you count how many times it takes you to get into the cage, just like mini golf. Lots of firewood all over this town. Oh, look at this. Just sit in there and read a book. This place is like a fairy tale. I don't want to leave. I want to just make a fire and sit here all night. There's the pool area over there. Hello. Good evening. So we're going to go eat. This gives you an idea. They've got carriages in their yards. I don't want people to really to see me recording. It is a private neighborhood, so I'm trying to be respectful. Like I said, next time I come, I'm going to take a drive around. We already did it when we first came in. Kind of was in the moment, so I wasn't filming. But I will be back. Now we're going to go check out this little gas station slash restaurant, I'm assuming. But I don't really know. And I love not knowing what's around the corner. It's all in a day's adventure, guys. It looks pretty swanky. Looks nice. The only thing here that's open. They have this and the village market. Which is right there. And that's it. So it's called Cottonwood Station. We're going to look at a menu and see if there's anything that we feel like we want to eat. Yep, it's a restaurant. I knew it. It's nice. So we're in a little village in the desert outside of Las Vegas, or so we're still in Vegas. We're on Mountain's Edge, which is in between our neighborhood and Las Vegas. It's one road, and this is off of it. All right. There are people eating, so I don't know how to get in here. Look at the number on the table, Milan. So our angel numbers let us out here, and the number is 22. Don't ask why it just is. So it always means we're on the right path. All right, guys, we're going to go check it out. Here's the menu. Chips with spicy cauliflower. Pico. Lunch and dinner many paninis. Pizzas. Alright guys. We're gonna see if we're gonna enjoy anything. To eat. In a village somewhere in the desert. <laughs> 